Hey guys, it's your girl Chris, and as promised, I am doing a video on my experience with my sewing for this winter. Side note, the world didn't end. Yay! We're all still here, at least for another year, as apparently the Aztecs got it wrong and are thinking it's going to come back again in September 2013, but whatever. Jesus is Lord. Happy New Year! talk about my winter regime. So some people like to do cornrows, some people like to do braids. I prefer to do weaves and by weaves I mean sew-ins. I know a lot of people are like, oh don't do a weave, why are you doing a weave? You're natural, you should never be touching weave. Weave is from the devil. Shut up, honestly. You should know your hair type and I know my hair type and I know that weaves work for me. They don't break my hair, they don't mess up my edges, my edges still look good y'all. Like. Come on now. You should know what your hair type is. And I know that for my particular hair type, on me, sew-ins work magically. So that is why I chose to do a sew-in for this particular winter. Also, I live in Canada, A, Canada, very cold, very harsh winters, and I really, really, really need to keep my strands protected. So in case you don't know what a weave or a sew-in is, it's basically where you cornrow your hair with or without extensions and then you sew in hair extensions with a synthetic or human hair into your hair. And basically what you end up having is that you end up having your hair completely and totally in a protective style which is the cornrows and then it's fully protected again with another layer of extra extensions. So you can possibly keep your weave-in for, I think, at least six weeks, all the way up to three months if it's done really well. And I know some people say they can keep their lovely Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian hair in for two years. Don't do that. I think that's gross, but, you know. It was looking raggedy, and nobody likes looking raggedy because a raggedy weave is just a stereotype, and we're not into stereotypes, people. So, I took it out. So... Let's talk about what I did to prepare myself for my sewing. What I did was first, of course, I prepped my hair and I did a really, really simple deep condition. It consisted of honey, olive oil, and Tresemme moisture rich conditioner. That's it. Very simple, no eggs, no mayo, nothing. Three simple ingredients. Plop them together, mix it, apply it to your hair. I left it in for about an hour and my hair was really super soft. And I think I needed to add that extra oomph of moisture into my hair, especially because usually when I get a weave in, I'm really lazy with my hair. I don't apply any products at all like I really do. The only thing I do do to my hair when it is in a sewing is I go crazy. I'm putting cash oil on my edges because I have this fear that I'm going to lose my edges. I don't know why, my sister doesn't understand why, my hairdressers don't understand why, it's just my fear that one day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have a hairline akin to Naomi Campbell or worse. So that is the only thing I use on my hair when I have a sew-in. And after doing my deep condition, I then tension dried my hair. And to do a tension dry, my sister actually taught me how to do. What I used, basically did was I got my regular blow dryer. Turned it on and there's a cool setting and I basically stretched out my strands and basically ran the hair dryer on this cool setting up and down my strands until it was dry. That basically allowed me to stretch my hair, get it dry, but I actually applied zero heat. It was basically a faster, quicker way to air dry my hair. So that is the process that I took to prep my hair. Also, I did apply my butter just to make sure there was that extra, extra value of protection added on and the moisture in my hair so i literally went to the hairdresser with a full greasy head i mean my hair was glistening because i know myself i know i'm gonna be lazy i know i'm not gonna like open up each track and apply oil to it with a toothbrush i know i'm not gonna do all that so i just made sure that i super prepped my hair before i went to the hairdresser the hairdresser um obviously you want to tell your hairdresser not to pull your edges don't mess those edges up girls i'm serious bad edges it's a bad look don't do it so really you want to tell your hairdresser watch your edges like i mean literally tell them exactly what i just said watch my edges 
they'll know what you mean, they'll know what you're talking about, and they won't go so hard on your edges as they may have done. It won't affect your style in any way, but it will protect your natural hair. So my stylist knows that I am natural hair, so she really did take good care of it, and she really did install my sew-in really well. Now let's go on to how I removed it.